What is up, everybody? I know it's been a while, but thank you for coming back to Coker Culture. We've got uh, some interesting stuff for you this evening. I'm going to walk you through um, what Jess cooked for dinner tonight, which was absolutely incredible. And then Chad and Ty want to take a minute of your time to give you some of their tips and tricks about Universal. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, it's Jess. So, I am about to start making dinner. So, we're going to make crispy chicken and pickle sandwiches. Um, we got an air fryer for Christmas. So, we've been making more things out of that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my chicken breast in half. And then I'm going to marinate them in some milk. Okay, now that my chicken is in pickle juice and milk, we're going to make the uh, flour mixture to dip the chicken in. So you need an egg and like a half a cup of milk. We're not going to measure. I mix it up. All right, so that will do. Now it says to pour some flour into a bowl, a bowl for once our chicken is done marinating with some pepper and some salt. And I don't measure. I should, but I don't. Thanks for now. So next, in just a few minutes, we will... All right, now our chicken has marinated in our pickle milk so we're going to dip it in our egg and milk you can really smell the pickles and then we're going to dip it in our flour and then we're going to put it in our pan Here's our chicken breast. I'm just gonna put some pepper over it. And then we're gonna put it in for six minutes. We did have to flip them and cook yeah. them again for six more minutes. We did flip them and um, all my stuff always sticks to the bottom even though I use foil. So I'm not sure how to stop that. So if you got any tips, let me know. So here's our one chicken breast. They're not really brown, but maybe they'll taste good. Let's see which one you want. It doesn't matter. They sure look good. See? All the stuff sticks to the top. So the finished product looks really, really good. It does. I just wish it was more brown. But it looks delicious. It smells good. And we're going to add some cheese on top of Zach's. I don't want cheese. Let me put it back in and warm it up. Let's melt it. So there is the finished product. It looks really good. Can't wait to dive in. Got some checkers fries 
we cooked here to go with it. They weren't cooked in the air fryer though, but it looks great. Gonna throw some pickles, some honey mustard on this and can't wait to dive in. Yay. All right, everybody. So Chad wanted to give his tips and tricks to everybody that's thinking about or planning on taking a universal trip. So go ahead, Chad. Okay, so number one, if you're planning on riding some rides that have like really long lines for like Hulk and some other rides, then I suggest you getting one of the Fast Pass memberships and stuff. And... Um, maybe trying, and if you're mostly going to be interested in trying to get some of the drinks at Universal, you should probably get one of the refillable cups at Universal. Um, oh, and if you're going to Island of Adventure to ride the Velocicoaster, then just, like, don't, because there's no fast pass for it yet. It's just like regular lines and single riders. But do not do single riders because that takes much longer. What's your favorite thing to do? You already know, Dad. Velocicoaster. Todd, what about you? What's your favorite thing? Wobbly Hagwood. Oh, yeah. That one's a good one. Cut the stuff down. I need to go to the Tilted King Tower. Anything else y'all want to say? Nope. I'm um, not really. Nope, and I'll tell them the secret. And that'll just about do it here for us tonight at Coker Culture. Short and sweet this evening. Hope that you guys enjoyed. A little peek into our evening life here. I'm going to be getting the boys ready for bed to, uh, real soon because they've got school in the morning. Until then, peace and what's your why?